Oh, big mood, right? Wow, death is actually a theme I'm realizing in my home. Hello, my quarantine cuties. I'm Julia Shiplett, and this is my beautiful bunker. Even though I'm not getting a lot of reading done, I sure as hell am getting a lot of writing done, I will have you know. Here's my, my little desk area. Here we are. Um, let's see something good that I'm working on. Oh, okay, you know what? Um, here is my monthly calendar that helps keep me organized. However, it's looking a little light right now. I do, in fact, have a roommate, but he fled to the comfortable suburbs to be in a big house with loved ones. <laughs> Not that I resent him at all. In the words of Governor Cuomo, I am New York tough. <laughs> Unlike you, Brian, you are a traitor. My plants have sort of become my new children, my new lovers, my new everything. What the fuck is your problem? You're a failure. God, get it together, you're pathetic. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I even let you into my house. This is the bar area of the home which has become very important. Most of the alcohol does belong to Brian. Um, however, if you do abandon me, I will drink your booze. This Emmy just kind of helps keep me motivated and excited for the future. And remember one day, I get another one of these coming. <laughs> um, technically, it does have Brian's name on it for some reason. I don't really know what that's about. And uh, here is a pull-up bar that Brian installed on the outside of his bedroom. In case you have any doubts whether Brian is a straight man, I think this is your answer. Your gym is my gym now, Brian. <laughs> Here is a photo of the Grand Canyon. I, I tend to uh, spend about 20 minutes a day just staring at it, pretending I am there. I'm so lonely. <laughs> It's good for me. It's good for me. One, five. Lately, um, I've kind of been uh, doing something fun that makes me feel like I have company. <laughs> me and my girls, me and my girls hanging out. Bye babe, see you later. Wow, my armpit hair is really something right now. Okay. It's a funny hand my friend gave me once at work. Um, you know, now that we can't really touch each other, <laughs> I've, um, I don't know, I feel like I've sort of developed a, a new appreciation for this, for this bad boy. <laughs> Just really. <laughs> Sorry, I just got lost there. The nights are tough. You know, like I said, the nights, they're tough. <laughs>